Behold, God's woman who has built her house. She feared the Lord and walked in the right path. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. O we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who crowned with the gift of true faith, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton's burning zeal to find you, grant by her intercession and example that we may always seek you with diligent love and find you in daily service with sincere faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, let no one deceive you. The person who acts in righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. Whoever sins belongs to the devil, because the devil has sinned from the beginning. Indeed, the Son of God was revealed to destroy the works of the devil. No one who is begotten by God <clears throat> commits sin, because God's seed remains in him. He cannot sin because he is begotten by God. In this way, the children of God and the children of the devil are made plain. No one who, falls to, no one who fails to act in righteousness belongs to God, nor anyone who does not love his brother. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the angels of the Lord have changed change, 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 change. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All, All the angels of the Lord have changed the power Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout with them for the joy before the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the power of God. The Lord comes, he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he has spoken to us through the Son. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus, John, excuse me, John was standing with two of his disciples. And as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? Jesus said to them, Come, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon and Peter, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own brother, Simon, and told him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Lord Jesus Good 
morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today, the Church in the United States honors one of her own in St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. St. Elizabeth Ann, born in an uh, Episcopalian family of means, eventually marries her husband. If I'm not mistaken, his name is William Seton. Uh, he is of not good health. They have a number of children. They would journey to Europe, specifically to Italy, Rome, and he would subsequently pass away there. While in Rome, Elizabeth Ann Seton would convert to Catholicism from being an Episcopalian and then move back and then we know that in the story, she comes back to the state. She establishes uh, first a, a home to help out young uh, women. And then it eventually blossoms to a whole religious community of which we honor her today for. Reflecting upon all of that this morning in my prayer, and I coupled it with what we spoke of last night at our Wednesday night mass and teaching, we spoke about the general instruction to the Roman Missal. The Roman Missal, the book here on the altar, and the general instruction which is found in the front. And we spoke last night about the, uh, we read over the section for the, the, the uh, structure of your church and the various items you have and how the tr church should be uh, well disposed so that when the individual comes in they're grabbed now you think about how uh, Catholics build churches nowadays and, and you chuckle at some of the different things we, we put as churches and in the general instruction it says that the, the, the church should have a noble simplicity and not be too ostentatious and I chuckled, what, what, what does that mean? You know, what is ostentatious to you? It may not be ostentatious to me. It's a very generic term. But as I was reflecting about that last night, and then it hit me this morning in the life of St. Elizabeth Seton, especially in relation to the gospel. The gospel, what does John say? Behold the Lamb of God, as he points to Jesus. That moment happens here on the altar when I hold up, the host and the chalice and say, Behold the Lamb of God. But it's not just that moment. Everything about our faith, from the moment we walk into the door and place our hands in the holy water font and sign ourselves remembering our baptism, to the moment we leave, everything should just scream out to us, Behold the Lamb of God. His presence is here. And it should em embrace all of our senses. Not only listening, uh, seeing, and speaking, but the whole person, all of us. I can only imagine as this young Episcopalian mother, and remember the Episcopalian church is very, very similar to the Catholic faith. And as she's there, she's in Rome, and I'm sure as she walked into those beautiful churches, and saw the mass laid out in front of her. I'm sure deep within her heart, the words of Christ echoed again. What are you looking for? And as we know, she said most likely in her heart, in her spirit, the same thing we would say if Jesus asked that. I'm looking for you. <laughs> I'm looking for you, God. In your fullest sense, I want to find you. I want to have you answer the questions of the purpose of my life, my being here. I want to find fulfillment and peace. I want more. I want something more. And that's why Jesus said, come, stay with me here in this church. And through this church, I will offer you that which you seek. She does. That same thing should be happening every day to countless people. 
does it, I can't answer that. But it reminds us that we should open up our doors to where we can give that individuals that same experience. And it means myself and our deacons offering the most reverent, heartfelt, thoughtful liturgies that we could, our choirs doing the best that they can, we, our people, uh, being as reverent as we can and offering fellowship when those things arrive. So all of these things play a part in so that when that individual who is yearning as Elizabeth Ann Seton or as any of us are yearning, when they walk in the doors, they should be able to hear those words, Behold the Lamb of God. Christ is present here. Stay with me for a while. And look what happened to Andrew and John, Peter. That can still happen today. May Almighty God be with you. May bless you. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> Coming together as one family and faith, we offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for those who are in hospitals and nursing homes this day. For them, for their families, for those who care for them, the doctors and nurses, the hospital staff, for all those people associated. This Mass will be prayed today. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For you, for your needs, and for the needs of those who watch on video, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude asking Mary, the Mother of God, for her intercessory assistance, as we say. Hail Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O Lord, we ask that you look graciously upon our gifts placed on your altar in celebration of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, and grant by the power at work in this sacrifice that we may be more deeply inserted into the mystery of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you. And with joy, we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> you are
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of all and the precious resurrection. Again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Amen. Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, glory to heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you, Spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Our Lord and our Lord, our Lord, the Lord, our Lord, our Lord, our Lord, our Lord, our Lord, our Lord, our
Let us pray. As we partake of the sacrament of our salvation, while recalling the memory of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that we may be inflamed with a burning desire for the heavenly table, and by its power consecrate our life faithfully to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in hell. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him when we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host. By the divine power, for us in hell, Satan and all the other spirits who wander through the world, seeking to ruin our souls. Amen. The divine praises. <laughs> Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, the most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints.